In 2017, we will be celebrating the 500th anniversary of the Reformation. On October 31st, 1517, Martin Luther nailed his thesis to the church door at Wittenberg, thus sparking off the Reformation. As a foreigner to that, in this year, 2015, is also the anniversary of the Scottish reformer John Knox and also the 17th century Puritan Richard Baxter and also the martyr George Marsh. George Marsh's story is told for us in the Fox's Book of Martyrs. He was a devout Protestant reformer. He held to absolute biblical truth. And because of his faith in the word of God, he was burned alive at the stake during the reign of Mary Tudor in 1555. This church is St. Mary the Virgin Church here in Bolton in Dean. It was here where George Marsh and his family attended at his local church. It's written in Psalm 112 verse 6, the righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. And so it is that between the 16th and the 19th centuries, the story of George Marsh has been remembered throughout those generations. But it still seems today that his memory is being forgotten. Yet in this year, 2015, is the 500th anniversary of his birth. My question to you and all churches around the world from England to America and beyond is would you consider remembering the life of the martyr George Marsh in your local churches, either by sermon or by book or by articles this year? My question to you today is if you're an elder or a pastor or a deacon or have some access to a pulpit, would you consider telling the story of George Marsh this year for your local church? If you'd like sources for his life and you don't yet have any, you can find the Book of Martyrs online. Remember, it's up to us to remember our history. And if we don't, then nobody else will either. Thank you for your time and God bless.